Gaming at 4K used to be almost impossible, but what if we told you you can do it for just $1,300 these days? And that gaming PC features the brand new RTX 4070 Super, which Nvidia announced, and today we're gonna be showing you guys what it can do by building a PC for only $1,300. Before we dive into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Huge shout out to today's sponsor, Micro Center. Christmas may be over, but Micro Center's winter saving deals are not. You can shop all sorts of tech at amazing prices. Like, check out this Lee and Lee case, pretty cool if you ask me. Additionally, if this is your first time visiting Micro Center, shame on you. But you can't take advantage of their new customer exclusive, a Creality Ender 3 S1 3D printer for only $149. Now if you already have a PC, Micro Center wants to see it. By submitting your build to the PC Build Showcase, you can earn a $25 gift card at Micro Center, which can go back to making your setup even better. Lastly, if you live in the area of Charlotte, North Carolina, keep your eyes open for the new Micro Center location opening in early 2024. Thanks again to Micro Center for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. So for the CPU, we have the i5-12600KF. This is a 10-core, 16-thread processor, and you guys gotta keep in mind, 4070 is a Gen 4 by 16 card, so you really wanna go with at least 12th Gen Intel or at least Ryzen 7000 series, just so you can have the DDR5, and so you can also have Gen 4 so that the card runs at its maximum potential. And then for the cooler, we decided to keep this build pretty stealthy. This is the ID Cooling SC224 XTS in black. You can also get the 214 if you want the ARGB fan, but we love the look of this cooler. This one actually has everything painted black, so it's gonna look really nice and really help us focus on the 4070 in this build. Now you can go with the B660 or you can go with the B760. We decided to go with the B760 because you technically have a slightly easier upgrade path with not having to update the BIOS. And also they're kind of getting hard to get as far as the older boards go, but this is actually a pretty nice board. It looks pretty sleek. It has a little bit of like the silver metallic design, but you got the four RAM slots. It actually has an eight pin for the CPU, a couple of M.2s, even some, some board glow on it. So it's a pretty nice board for the price. And now for the RAM, we decided to go a little bit more budget too. This is Team Group T Create. 32 gigs at 6,000 megahertz. We really like this design. It's kind of like a porous design that looks aerodynamic so that it can fly really fast through those applications. But we decided just to go with uh, black RAM just because you do save a lot of money. RAM's kind of going up in price. So this is one way to still get it pretty cheap. And then for the SSD, we have a solid dime one terabyte Gen 4 NVMe SSD. These are just the best bang for buck right now aside from like the Crucials and the Western Digital Drives. But these are very trustworthy drives and they're getting so cheap. You can even go two terabytes if you wanted to. Now guys, we have the RTX 4070 Super, which Nvidia released at the exact same price as the RTX 4070. So if you've been in the market for the normal RTX 4070, you get free performance upgrades when this card hits the market. We'll go ahead and open it up and show you guys the Founders Edition, which has this awesome matte black design, which is kind of why we went for that all black cooler and everything. We kind of have a theme going here. We'll see how it turns out, but very nice card, very minimal design. Um, these uh, Nvidia reference cards always look really nice and use that 16 pin connector. It does come with the adapter, but we did get an ATX 3.0 power supply, so we shouldn't have to use it, but very awesome graphics card that does come with the same 12 gigs of VRAM, but more performance that we will see later in the benchmarks. And speaking of that power supply, we have a good old Seagotep power supply, the GM750 80 plus gold power supply with that ATX 3.0 connector. You realistically don't need a 750 watt power supply for this PC build. The 4070 is normally pretty power efficient, but this is a really reliable unit that we have used a ton over at PC Bros, our PC selling business by PC today. Use Katos Bros to save super cent. More than enough watts for upgrades in the future and uh, yeah, the ATX 3.0 will make this build look super clean. And lastly for the case, we went with our good friends at Apivia. This is the Prism in black. We did build a PC with this on the channel already, but it's at $79. It comes with one, two, three, four, five fans pre-installed that are RGB, I believe ARGB, so you can program it on the motherboard. Um, we're probably gonna go for like an all white look here with that graphics card, again, to highlight that 4070 Super. But yeah, good budget case, $79. You can go with a wide range of different options, but it's micro ATX under hundred bucks. And that works out perfectly for us and at around $1,300, you definitely have an awesome 1440p high refresh rate gaming PC, but also we're gonna do some 4K testing to see what this thing can do as well at 4K. Even though it's not necessarily designed for it, we could definitely play some 4K gaming. Let's go and put this thing together and find out how it does.
All right, guys, we are playing the finals, and guess what? We're at 4K. Yeah, baby. I'll show you guys these settings real quick. But 4K, uh, we are not really, let's see, we're not using frame generation. We do have DLSS on Probably balance. should turn frame gen on. It'll actually work better. Yeah, sure, why not? So yeah, we got frame gen on, DLSS balance. So we're not even doing performance, and I did not. Should be that. ultra settings to wrap epic. epic. Epic settings, which is the new ultra these days. And we are managing to get pretty much high refresh rate. You know, if you had like a 120 hertz 4K monitor, this would be ideal. And look at the colors. It's so beautiful at 4K. Actually using our 4K monitor at 4K. Would you believe it? Very We're rare, actually doing actually. it. Because you guys gotta remember, we don't do a lot of really high-end builds around here. So for us, this, this 4K is definitely pushing it. Ooh, uh-oh. What does this purple think they're doing? Why is he in a dress? Hmm. Not there's anything wrong with that, but I oh, why? didn't expect to see it. Wheeling will get his Oh my god. Oh, oh. Team oh. just inside. Yeah. Please. No. Explosion, explosion. Oh. Come First on. they just. Please. Ah. I'm stunned. Oh. I can't believe oh, I, we I stole? just healed and got that. Oh yeah, oh, eyes closed. Nice. Your eyes are now closed. You ain't waking up from that one. The show must go on, guys. The show must go on. I'm on fire. Teammate, are you awake? Teammate, you they weren't even doing. Gotta start paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you kidding me? Are you? Oh, I hate this guy. I hate him. Teammate, oh, please. Teammate. Please, teammate. Yes! Oh my god. Oh god. Okay, oh, now, now we have so long we can't even... <laughs> <laughs> and that is it. And that concludes it. the game, guys. But hey, it ran amazing. I mean, our okay, performance baby. was good. You know, you can't... Not all of our teammates have 4070 Super, so what do you expect? You know? So let's play some Warzone and see what it can do. All right, gamers, we are in Call of Duty Warzone. We are at good old 4K, taking advantage of some DLSS on quality and the balanced preset. And right now we're getting about 120 FPS. Now, obviously with the 4070 Super, you're not going to max out games at 4K. You are going to want to optimize the settings a little bit, especially if you're not using frame gym. We are using DLSS here, so it will help us out a little bit. But 100 plus FPS. Yes, at 4K, nice. You probably hear a lot of. Oh! Aha! Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm so. Are you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> no. no, bro. Oh! Now we're getting shot. Give me the kill! Give me the kill! <laughs> oh! Dang. That pistol goes hard. Oh. You son of a boy, that just hurt. Ah. Oh, are you, not you again. Yeah, two, just just leave me two be. Seconds. Yeah, you can leave. You can leave. No, you you oh. But hey, it ran good. We got 4K gaming on a 4070 Super, a yeah. PC $1,300. Normally we're looking at like the 1440p range, which would be great for, but we can play some games at 4K. I'm excited to see 3 Mark Time Spy and see what the cent per point will end up being for this PC in 3 Mark Time Spy. Let's run it and find out. Okay guys, we just got done benchmarking this PC at a higher resolution than we thought. We ended up going with 4K and it just did it really well. So what was even the point of going down to 1440p when we played 4K at respectable settings and got high FPS, AAA titles, esports title, it didn't really matter what we threw at it. It's really cool to see that this 4070 Super is basically the exact same price as the 4070, but just a bit faster. And in 3D Mark Time Spy, we saw just how much faster this card actually is with a score of 19,100, which ends up being a seven cent per point average, which is in line with a lot of our best price performance PCs we built here on the channel. So even at $1,300, you're getting really good value here with the 4070 Super. And I'm excited to see how the other Super cards perform on the market. But I think this one right here is a good upgrade from NVIDIA. And especially considering NVIDIA has been getting a lot of hate for their pricing, this right here is a good upgrade for gamers who have been considering the 4070. So if you want to build this gaming PC yourself, check those links in the description down below. They will be a fill links. They will help us out. Let us know what you think of this PC and the 4070 Super. As long as it stays at $599, we think it's a good buy, but you never know with these launches. It could be more expensive. Let us know what kind of price you're seeing in the comment section down below. 
And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye. This PC right here will be for sale at PCBros.Tech with a one year warranty. PCBros.Tech, we sell awesome gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. Use code TOASTYBROS200 to check out. Save 2% your next purchase. See you guys later. Bye bye. Bye bye.